right. Welcome to the Healthy Hustling Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Eric Broadworth, and I am here today with a couple guests, uh, special guests, I might add. So we have Dave Helverson with the Windy Willow Foundation and Dan Post with the Phoenix. So I'm really excited to uh, share or have them share, I guess, their story and what we're trying to do here in Grand Rapids, Michigan and some big things coming on, especially for May. So yeah, let's talk, uh, I, I guess, Dave, we, let's start with you with the Windy Willow Foundation. What is the Windy Willow Foundation? How did you get involved? Who does it help? All of those fun things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Windy Willow Foundation is a foundation that I am the president of. I work with a team of individuals. Uh, started this project and foundation, I suppose, about six to seven years ago now. Uh, started actually out of Michigan State, uh, I'm an alumni. We started at uh, the Hatch Incubator as a brand called Windy Willow Co. Um, trying to sell coffee and clothing to ra raise awareness for uh, mental health awareness initiatives. Um, since then, it's translated into a, a full-scale 501c3 IRS-approved nonprofit. Uh, and what we do to date, uh, two value adds. You know, we, we try to raise money through various community events um, for the purpose of supporting American for Foundation uh, American Foundation for Suicide Prevention uh, projects throughout the year. And we are also are launching a financial aid program that supports um, individuals that um, have mental health services that they can't afford. They can apply directly to our foundation. Um, and we try to provide uh, financial aid uh, for specified mental health causes. So, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I don't think that uh we have enough of those services. So I think that is a really good cause. Um, seems great. Has it been growing quite a bit then? And you've seen quite a bit of growth? Yeah, yeah. I'd say uh, probably a year and a half ago, we decided to actually launch the nonprofit. Uh, I had a team of uh, directors, more or less, that you know we, we got together and tried to figure out how we could add more value. And we, we decided upon just launching a full-on nonprofit. Cool. And since then, yeah, we've had a lot of support, a lot of events. We work between Grand Rapids and the Metro Detroit area, having a presence in both areas and getting involved with communities that, that, that want to be here very much like a CrossFit gym. Yeah. Uh, that's a good place for us. So awesome. Yeah. And Dan, so what about you? You recently got involved with the Phoenix. Um, so in you, t I guess, tell us a little bit about the Phoenix, what the Phoenix is all about. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, the Phoenix is a also a nonprofit uh, organization started out in Colorado. It is basically building a sober, active community. Um, we're actually now we can call ourselves international because we got we just started up a um, a chapter in Canada. Oh, cool! Um, just a stone's throw away from um, from us here. So we're in Canada. Uh, I think it's Toronto. Okay, I want to say Toronto. Um, could be wrong. <laughs> Hopefully it's Toronto. Hopefully we'll, it's Toronto. We'll, we'll if not Toronto, out. we're coming to you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we've got uh, in Michigan here, we just started up Grand Rapids chapter. Um, the Detroit chapter started up uh, last last March, March 20. No, March 20. Yeah, 2020. So uh, just over a year there. Um, and we're just kind of slowly popping up around uh, seeing a need for building community, building a sober, active lifestyle for people. Um, you know, stuff outside of treatment centers and 12 step programs and something that that gets people active, uh, gets people together um, using utilizing what they say is that, you know, the catch slogan we have is utilizing uh, the transformative power of um, community and fitness to, to help each other rise, recover and live. That's kind of the slogan. Cool. And so um so you're in charge of this chapter right here in Grand Rapids yeah, and it's yep. right here at eighth day gym. Yeah. So, uh, right now Grand Rapids is just me. Um, all of our programs, we, um, obviously there's, you know, somebody there to facilitate and to kind of start these relationships with, with gyms and, and treatment centers. Um, but, uh, most, the majority of our programs we'd like to have be volunteer led. Um, so people who, really feel um, compelled and led to, you know, lead programs, whether it's, um, you know, a hike in the woods, a bike ride, uh, you know, they've got like chess clubs in, in Detroit, stuff like that. So it doesn't necessarily have to be CrossFit, but typically our biggest um, 
ticket items are, are the CrossFit uh, affiliates okay. because people love to do that stuff. Yeah. So um, just curious, did you know that you wanted to start a uh, Phoenix chapter before the games? Because I saw they were at the game. So I didn't know if like you talked to him then. No. So I actually that uh, I had been started. I had started years ago with them as a volunteer. Okay. Cool. And, uh, and then, you know, when the world shut down, uh, we sort of stopped, um, leading programs. It was over at CrossFit Luminary actually. Oh, okay. And then, uh, and then I got hired as an employee the week of the games. So like my first week of work was the week at the games. And I, I heard that there was going to be this huge, you know, partnership. And I was like, this is awesome. So that's awesome. Yeah. yeah I, I did not know that. So, uh, yeah. How, I guess, did you guys then come together? Like, let's hear this story. So the reason we're sitting down is because there is a little CrossFit competition coming up, right? So it's pretty unique in the sense that I don't think I've ever seen this before where two gyms kind of come together and it's going to be at both gyms, right? So it's going to be a luminary CrossFit and eighth day gym. So how did you guys come up with this idea? I think Aaron yeah. was, was the, uh, yeah, Aaron Norris, uh, current coach at, at Luminary, uh, obviously has bounced back and forth between Luminary and Eighth Day. Um, he's been wanting to do, uh, I, I think, a competition between gyms. We call it the coming together of gyms Yeah. Um, to, to better relationships uh, between both of us because it's, it's a CrossFit community. I mean, half of what we do is, is working out. The other half is talking, well, at least me when I go into the gym. <laughs> yeah. So Aaron was a was is that a 50 50 split on like working yeah. out versus talking half yeah. leg day, half jaw day. That's that's yeah. what we do. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, but Aaron was a, a kind of piloting the program, uh, the idea of having this competition and, and kind of pulled us both into it. And we all kind of came up with the idea of what if we made uh, an event that was between two gyms, physical locations, that's 100 percent nonprofit. Mm. Right. It's just a do good initiative of people mm. coming together. Right. Yeah. I think we ran with that. Yeah. But that pretty much how it started. Aaron's just like, Hey, I want to do this. And we're like, cool, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel bad that Aaron's not on here then. So Aaron, if you're listening, I apologize if you wanted to get in on this. He's going uh, to Costa Rica today. Oh yeah. Or Puerto, Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yeah. Yeah. 10 yeah. degrees outside. And he is, so I don't feel as bad anymore, Aaron, <laughs> since yeah. uh, it's 10 degrees out and you're on your way to Puerto Rico, but um, hopefully you're going to enjoy it uh, down there. So so the CrossFit competition is called Luminate the Day. A uh, little play on words there. I like it. Um, date is in May, correct? May 21st. May 21st. It's a Saturday. And who's this for? Is this for like, so when a lot of people hear CrossFit competition, right? They're like, oh, uh, elite level CrossFit games. Like, do you have to have a minimum, say, clean and jerk, snatch, squat, deadlift, anything like that? So yes and no, like, uh, we, we designed, um, you know, Aaron designed the workouts mm -hmm. and we really should have had Aaron. On. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Aaron designed these workouts because, you know, we wanted to have RX, the, the, you know, heavy hitter division really feel like a true competition. So there's going to be heavier weights. Uh, the movements are going to be more technical, um, but then we have the, um, the scale division, uh, intermediate, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and that's going to be for everybody, anybody and everybody, uh, you'll be able to, to get the movements and, and do what you can. We really just want to create an environment where the people who want to compete can compete and have fun, um, in that kind of competition setting. And then the people who want to be there and support and get a good workout can also do that in, in both divisions. Cool. Yeah accessibility was was the biggest thing when we talked about scale divisions but at the same time we love fire breathers yeah the idea of the whole competition is, is promoting you know is is well-being as a community and mm -hmm. that's at every level that's at the fire breather level that's mm -hmm. at you know the scaled level that's at the the new to crossfit level yep. um so the idea of all levels uh inclusive for one cause was was kind of the home run for us mm -hmm. yeah. cool i like it so what can so, so i guess let's start off with like the RX division. What would, should be some of the minimum requirements? Like if you're thinking you want to go RX, what should you be able to do? What can they expect? Yeah. Gymnastics. Mm -hmm. um, 
are we allowed to talk about any specific movements or are these all a surprise? So we're going to have, yeah. we're going to have video releases. Uh, we okay. did hire a, a, a media company to help us out with uh, releasing workouts in advance. So over the next couple of months, we are going to be releasing each workout. Um, we don't want to spoil it before, yeah. but we will talk a little bit about, I think, expectations. Yeah. That's okay. Yep. I think that's great. So I think advanced gymnastics, uh, mm-hmm. we can expect. So advanced gymnastics, take note of that. If, if you can do advanced gymnastics, you're good so far. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. We also have a little blurb on our Facebook page, um, for the event at Luminate the Day that actually explains if you're participating in RX, expect these movements. If yeah. you're participating in scaled, expect these movements. Um, you know, alongside the, the RX division, heavy lifting is going to be involved. Um, endurance, you know, that that's CrossFit. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think that, that pretty much, pretty much sums up. I mean, the workouts are all going to be, uh, what I think 14 minutes and under, mm-hmm. so they'll be shorter. Uh, but yeah, how many, how many workouts? I think four or five four total, four total. Yeah. All right. So that's a, yeah. So we'll to each gym, right? Each gym. Yep. Okay. So yeah. there'll be a little bit of time, um, you know, between the heats to kind of transition, uh, which also gives uh, time for like, you know, if we have vendors, we'll have vendors at, at both locations. So if they have, you know, if they want to be over at Luminary and at eighth day, they have time to, you know, take down set up or um, just kind of be here okay. for, for people. Yeah. Okay. So our, so, and so I'm just curious as to how this is going to work. Cause so is it going to be like, half at one location then half at the other like at the same time does that make sense or are you doing like everyone does the two workouts yeah. at luminary and then one you minute. switch and then everyone does two workouts at eight day mm-hmm. yeah okay cool it. logistically it's it's a little bit more complex um for the purpose of again really driving home the idea of two gyms coming together in future years mm-hmm. i think you know our hope was to actually rent out some type of field yeah. like a turf field and actually host a, a full-on fitness festival in this first year we sat down with, with joe and he he said calm down guys <laughs> yeah. a little bit yeah. chill make out. some make some realistic expectations and i think that was uh an eye-opener for us yeah where we said yeah let's let's work with what we have and yeah. focus on the bigger picture a little bit later right yeah i think we were just going into it we were just so pumped and we just wanted to have like we were talking to uh you know the guys from fresh coast and we were yeah. just like we want to have we want to have this field and we want to have this rig and we're going to bring all this weight out there and it's i think that's feel sweet like that would be like a game style yeah, atmosphere yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe uh so that'll be that'll be down the road that's gonna be 2023 so we're saying at first 2023 <laughs> there's gonna be a big rig outdoors yeah. houseman field i feel like you could do a houseman that'd be perfect yeah. be big yeah we got some ideas in the yeah, pipeline. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> have a river competition you yeah. know you gotta swim the river, swim the river. <laughs> so. upstream um cool so so expect to lift lift a little heavy do some gymnast gymnastic gymnasty type stuff mm-hmm. so if you're not strong with either of those things then you've got the scale division mm-hmm. which no shame at all in the scale division i think no. scale division uh so if anyone hasn't done a crossfit competition before do you think the scale division is appropriate Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's a good competition to get your feet wet if you are trying to compete eventually, um, whether that's at the RX level or just involved in, in normal, you know, local competitions at the scale level. It's yeah. a good first competition. Cool. Yeah. Yep. I think scaled gets a bad rap sometimes. I think scaled gets an, uh, yeah, a real bad rap sometimes. I don't think, in, so as a physical therapist, I, I think scaling is great. And that's mm. what I tell people what I love about CrossFit is that you know, you don't have to do everything RX. You can take the a very complicated workout, break it down, make it simple. And anyone can do it. Grandma and grandpa can do it. You know, mm-hmm. if you're nursing an injury, you can do it. And so that's one thing that, you know, with me, with my profession, it's uh, my goal is to never tell anyone that they have to sit the workout out. It's okay. How do we get you moving? How do we keep you moving? Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, I've had to scale and I can get pretty creative having uh, gone through pec surgery and being in yeah. a sling still able to make workouts work for the most part. So, uh, there are ways to do it safely too, by the way. Um, awesome. So let's see if you, and, and then, so we're looking for athletes. When is the sign up date? When do they need to sign up by what's the cost to get in? Yeah. So our sign up 
date. Um, I believe it's a, it's a tentative date at the moment. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have a, a hard figure set out. That will come after we start releasing videos. Um, it's safe to assume probably about a month before we'll probably close the deadline. Okay. Um, so May 21st is the event. So April yeah. 21, roughly. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, I think that depends too on like, you know, the kind of traction that we get with it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Hope, the, the goal is, is probably like a, a month before, but nothing is set okay. in stone. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cost per team. I yeah. What's cost? Two. How many people on a team? Yeah. So it's teams of three. Yep. Okay. No individuals, just teams, right? Correct. So teams of three. Uh, same is sex it team, so same sex teams? Mm -hmm. Okay. And females. Okay. And what's the cost? Uh, I believe it's 280. Okay. Yeah. Per so team. 280 teams of three, same sex. Um, so all, all male, then all female. Um, awesome. I'm excited about this. And then say you want to be involved, but you still are not sure, even with all the compelling, uh, arguments that you guys gave that anyone can do this competition. You just kind of got to figure out your division. How do you, so can you still get involved? Are you guys looking for volunteers? Absolutely. So yes. what kind of volunteers do we need? We need, uh, I mean, we need volunteers to help set up, uh, take down, um, you know, help with registration, uh, at the morning of, do we still need sponsors? So we do need sponsors. Um, I will say our sponsor, uh, program is pretty friendly at the moment. So we do have a title sponsor that is fuel. Yeah. So thank you Eric, for uh, sponsoring our event. Really, really appreciate yeah, it. We do. Uh, we have workout sponsors. Uh, those are all filled at the moment, which I think I can give a shout out if that's. Yeah, okay. go ahead and give a shout out to our workout sponsors. Uh, Onward GR, um, GR Fit Realtor, Terrence O'Neill's uh, Really Business, yep. uh, Michigan State College of Medicine, and um, LRX, um, which will be at our event with the booth the day of. So those are four workout sponsors. Uh, along the way, we do have vendor sponsors, t-shirt sponsors. So if mm -hmm. you still want to get involved as a sponsor, um, all the requirements are actually posted on our Facebook page. You can be physically at our event with the booth. You can just donate and be on our t-shirts. Or if you don't want to meet one of the certain requirements and you just want to give a little bit, you know, we have the option to just donate to the event. Again, it is a 100% uh, nonprofit event. All of our profit off um, you know, the tops of our, our expenses is donated to the nonprofits, yep. um, the event sports. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. And we're excited definitely to be a title sponsor for fuel physical therapy and sports performance. I knew that when you guys had announced this, I was pretty excited to see some competitions coming back to grand rapids as far as CrossFit goes. And then we just love being involved with the community. And I think this just really goes towards a good cause and both causes really like mesh well, when you look at mental health, uh, and suicide prevention, as well as obviously addiction and, you know, living a sober lifestyle. So I, I think the two really go hand in hand. And um, so I think this is going to be for, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be for a really good cause. I think we're going to raise a good amount of money. Um, nice philanthropic event. So yeah. Is there anything that I haven't touched on that we need? So if you're looking to sponsor, check out the Facebook page. So we do need some more sponsors. If you want to volunteer, I can definitely tell you with an event going on like this, um, having been to multiple CrossFit events, uh, Fresh Coast, um, out at Coast Guard City Throwdown, all of these events take a ton of work behind the scenes. And so if you have time, even if it's like helping to plan, prepare, day of especially, always seems like kind of a madhouse as far as like making sure everything is good to go there's hours and hours of preparation. Like the night before is always just kind of crazy setting up equipment. If you can help with any of that, uh, these guys would greatly appreciate it, especially being across, you know, two different gyms. Mm -hmm. It's going to take, uh, I think a little more effort even than maybe your average competition. Yeah. I think one more, one more plug for the, the nonprofits too, um, is even if you don't want to get involved in this event or you can't, um, these are two Grand Rapids based nonprofits that are looking to grow for, for purely do good initiatives, uh, nonprofit initiatives. We encourage, you know, anybody that's interested in the foundations as a whole to reach out and, and help us grow. 
you know, this, this town is all about relationships and networking. So yep. we're open to that kind of stuff. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, and anybody, it, um, Wendy Willow obviously has a bunch of resources that are available. Um, you know, right now the Phoenix, we have, uh, CrossFit classes here, CrossFit and boot camp classes here at, at eight day, um, that are, are free to attend for anybody. So it's, um, you know, the best, best thing we can do for, for nonprofits is, is help spread that word, you know, word of mouth, uh, you know, tell somebody who might be interested in, in supporting, uh, and, and, you know, being in attendance at events, it's, it's super helpful. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I think this is, uh, this has been really good. So we like to kind of conclude this. So with that, it, the podcast is called the healthy hustling podcast. So I always like to ask what does healthy hustling mean to you? So whoever wants to answer that first. Hmm. Uh, I think, <laughs> I, I think constant pursuit of the best version of yourself. That, that's what I hear. Um, you know, putting, putting time aside to focus on self-care, but at the same time, making sure you put people first. I always say that when I make posts or announcements about the foundation, people first, but also self-care, right? Yeah. Dang, that was good. Yeah. Sorry. Sums it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, yeah, follow, follow that up, Dan. Follow that up. I think, yeah, healthy hustling is, uh, is just that. And I think it's, it, it's directly in line with both what our facilities, um, our organizations do is, uh, you know, finding that best version of yourself, uh, because, you know, we can only, we can only help others as, as much as, you know, we're helped. We help ourselves. We can't fill other people's cups until ours, um, are full. Yeah, absolutely. And then I guess one last thing too. So how should people, if they want to get a hold of you, uh, obviously you've got the Facebook page. Um, so illuminate the day, that's the Facebook page. But if they want to get a hold of either of you, what's the best way to do so? And if they want to donate, say just regardless, where do they donate? So uh, if you want to donate to the Phoenix, you can go to the phoenix.org uh, slash donate. And then you can specifically choose to donate to the nation as a whole, the, the national um, organization, or you can specifically choose to donate to uh, the Grand Rapids local chapter, which would help us to be able to, um, you know, fund special events and, and stuff like that. Like, uh, you know, another little plug, like we're, we're going to, um, you know, because of some donations that we got, we uh, are able to take um, out a bunch of people. I think we've got like 50 people signed up to go to see a Pistons game tonight, which is awesome. Super awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's just another way to show that people that you can have fun, do cool things sober. And you don't yeah. have to drink with it. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you want to sponsor uh, Windy Willow Foundation, our website is windywillowfoundation.org. Uh, we do a lot of business through our website. We also do a lot of business through Facebook at Windy Willow Co. and Foundation. So there's a brand side and a foundation side. Uh, do a lot of communication through Instagram as well. Uh, so feel free to follow our page at Windy Willow Co. USA. Uh, that is our brand and our foundation page. Uh, and we do a lot, of, a lot of work through there as well. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, thanks so much for coming on, Uh, guys. I think this was super helpful. I'm super excited for this competition to get underway. And yeah, yeah, it's going to be a good one. So be be sure to either volunteer, uh, compete, donate, do something, help these guys out. All right. Thanks so much.